Oh my god, I should turn my ring light on if I'm gonna use it. Cheers. Good morning, guys. So if you don't know what Goodreads is, they have a challenge that you can set at the beginning of the year. You set the amount of books you wanna read for the year. And my goal this year was 75. And like a week ago, I surpassed my goal. Yay! So we're gonna go over all the books I read for my 2023 Goodreads challenge. There were a bunch of ways I wanted to like set up the books in this video, but I just gonna go from the first book I read to the last book I read, but like with the exception of series. So the first book in the series is gonna be like where I read that book. If it's a series, I didn't read them all together. I read them separately. I can't read series books one after the other because it hurts my head. This year was definitely threes and fours mostly because I, at the beginning of the year, I didn't give anybody a five star. Nobody deserved a five star in my mind. And also nobody deserved a one star in my mind. There's only one one star review. Most of the twos from the beginning of the year, they're definitely one stars. So just keep that in mind when I'm telling you it's a two, it's probably a one. I just didn't want to be mean. Okay, here's the damage done. Which honestly isn't that bad as I thought it'd be. I actually just counted how many physical books I read this year and I forgot the number as soon as I counted it. But I think it was like 53, something like that. Okay, I'm actually gonna sit crisscross out from this because I have an alert loose circulation in my feet. That was a lot of work getting these books off the shelves. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, starting us off. This is where it ends, four stars. Legendary and Finale as library books. They were both four stars. Punk 57, which was on my Kindle, which was four star. The Confidence of Wildflowers, five stars. Resurrection of Wildflowers, four stars. A Very Large Expansive Sea, that was four stars. The Perks of Being a Wallflower, three stars. Red Queen, two stars. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, four stars. Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel, two stars. King of Corium, two stars. If He Had Been With Me, five stars. Twisted Love, three stars. Twisted Games, four stars. Twisted Hate, three stars. Twisted Lies, four stars. The Way I Used To Be, four stars. The Places I've Cried In Public, three stars. I'm Thinking Of Ending Things, two stars. Addicted To You, three stars. Satan's Affair, three stars. Haunting Adeline, four stars. Hunting Adeline, four stars. I actually cannot do this. Okay. A Court of Thorns and Roses, three stars. A Court of Mist and Fury, five stars. A Court of Wings and Ruin, four stars. Icebreaker, four stars. Wildfire, four stars. The Summer I Turned Pretty, three stars. This was a reread. Red, White, and Royal Blue, four stars. The Wife Between Us, three stars. The Risk was four stars. Sidetracked was three stars. Scarlet Angel was four stars, and that's in the Mindfuck series. I haven't finished it yet. Everything Everything was five stars and I originally read this as a library book and then I went to Barnes and Noble and I bought my own copy because I loved it so much and I needed to annotate it. The Giver was four stars. This was also a reread. I read this in eighth grade English class. Happy Place was five stars. I read Done and Dusted, five stars. The Last Word, five stars. I Blame the Dimples was four stars. And then I Blame the Alcohol I read on my Kindle, that was three stars. In Five Years, this was an audiobook. It was three stars. Fourth Wing was five stars. Iron Flame was three stars. What the fuck is in my copy of Fourth Wing? Oh, there's a bookmark. It's funny. Once Upon a Broken Heart was four stars. The Ballad of Never After was five stars. A Curse for True Love was five stars. The Fine Print, five stars. Throne of Glass was four stars. Crown of Midnight was five stars. Air of Fire was four stars. I listened to the audiobook of the Plus One Pack. That was three stars. Finding 13, four stars. Beach Read, five stars. Magnolia Parks, five stars. Daisy Hates, five stars. I had an arc of Ghosted. That was three stars. Priest, this was probably the worst book I have ever read in my life. One star, negative stars. The Seven Year Slip, three stars. Out on a Limb, five stars. Things We Never Got Over, three stars. In Between Horns and Wings, three stars. I read The Gift by Freda McFadden, that was three stars. Then She Was Gone, five stars. Flawless, three stars. Maybe Meant to Be, four stars. The Silent Patient, this was an audiobook, four stars. Light Lark, 
also an audiobook, three stars. I read Murder on the Christmas Express on my Kindle, that was three stars. The Hunger Games, five stars. Catching Fire, five stars. Mockingjay, four stars. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snake, five stars. Oh my God, I'm sweating. I wanna read this so bad, The Notebook. The font's so big and it's so little, but the movie is so good, so. I need to hear that scene that's like, what, what I want, I want what he what wants, he what your parents wants, want. What your parents want, what, what do, do you, you want? want? Oh, I love Ryan Gosling. Oh, I love Ryan Gosling. Those are all the books I read for my 2023 Goodreads challenge. So there's 74 books here, but I read everything, everything twice because I needed to annotate it and I counted it for it. So those are all the books that I read and it's only the 15th of December. So I still have half the month left to keep reading. So I'm gonna surpass my goal if I can get past this book I'm reading right now, but I can't because there's so many freaking characters and I can't keep up. I wanna read the notebook. Should I just read the notebook, guys? Thank you for watching. Tune in next time because we'll be doing, I don't know what we're doing. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.